before you start doing your drawing, uh, it might be rotated uh, one section counterclockwise. So you want to uh, rotate your drawing uh, a quarter of a circle to the right. And the way you do that is come up to the three uh, horizontal lines you see that are labeled menu. Click on that menu and you will see rotate clockwise. If you click on that, you will rotate it this way so you can read side, front, and top, and it's a little bit easier to work with. Hi, this is Bill from the Yes Program. What we're going to go over today is how to turn a 3D object into a drawing where you draw it from its three different views from the front, which is where the arrow is pointing at the 3D object, from the side, and from the top. And you'd use a drawing like this if you wanted somebody to build a 3D object for you, or you wanted to send them uh, a picture of the 3D object with uh, its dimensions. There are a lot of reasons that you would want to be able to do a, a good solid drawing of a 3D object. Let's say that it's something you just have in your head and you can't take a picture of it because you haven't built it yet. And you maybe want to send it to somebody to get their ideas on it. Uh, you want to leave a drawing for the person who's coming in after you to show them what you were thinking about. So here's how you would go ahead and uh, turn that 3D funny looking, uh, well it's not quite a cube, but that, uh, that object into uh, a nice neat drawing. So we're going to start off by looking at it from the front. What can you see from the front of the object? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trace the edges of what you can see from the front and then we're going to take that tracing and we're going to transfer it uh, to the drawing. Now your drawing is going to be in three parts. You're going to draw it from the front, you're going to draw it from the side, and you're going to draw it from the top. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and start with it from the front. So the first thing we're going to do is trace the front and I'm going to use the uh, that light blue color to do it in. I'm going to check to make sure that the stroke thickness is set high enough. I'm going to set it for 8. Okay, so if you look at that, if you come down here you can set it for 8. Alright, so what are we going to draw? We are going to draw the first part of the front. So I'm going to draw this cross here, up here, back here, and that's the first part of what we're going to draw. Okay, so let's go up and draw that on the front. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to hold the shift key down when I draw and it'll make a nice straight line. So I'm going to start in the lower part of the drawing down here in the lower left. I'm going to come across. I'm going to draw that. I'm then going to come up the sh size of one block. I'm going to go over to the left two blocks. I'm now going to go up one block. I'm going to go over to the left one block. And I'm going to come back down to where I started. So there we are. We have drawn the front, part of the front right here. You can see where I just put that dot. And that's become this part of the drawing. Okay, I can see that from the front. Okay, what else can I see from the front? Well, looking at it from the front, 
I can see this part. So let's go ahead and draw that. Well, there are a couple of places I could start from, but I know that I'm starting one space up on the right hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put my cursor there and I'm going to go up one space. So holding down the shift key, I go up one space. Now at this point, I'm a little bit off. So I'm going to go ahead and erase that and I'll show you how to erase. So I'm going to come over here to the side and I'm going to pick the eraser. And once I've picked the eraser, I can come over and I can erase that one line. Boom. Now, don't forget, you have to go back and pick your drawing tool again. So this time I'm going to start again. I'm going to hold this down and I go up one. I'm going to go over to the left two squares. And I can stop here because you can see that those other two lines have already been drawn by the first drawing I did. So now, what have I drawn? I'm going to pick purple now just for illustration purposes. I have drawn that shape right here. Okay, I'm going to go back to my light blue color and I'm going to do the final piece that I can see from the front, which is this part right up here. Okay, so where's that going to be? Well, it's going to start in the upper left-hand corner. So I'm going to start up there. And it's going to come down. And it's going to go over to the right two squares. And it's going to come back down again. And I don't have to draw those last two lines. So now let's take a look and see, I'm going to use red this time, what I've drawn is that. So those are the three surfaces that I can see from the front of the object. Now at this point, let me remind you that you're probably going to be doing your drawing in black ink. I'm just doing this in different colors so that it's a little bit easier for you to follow. But you would be normally doing a three-part drawing like this in black ink. So I'm now going to draw from the side. And to do that, I'm going to change my color. And I'm going to change it to red, which I've already been using. And let's take a look and see what we can see from the side. Okay, from the side, starting down here in the lower left-hand corner, I can see that. I can now go up and I can go over and down and over and down. So that's one part of what I can see from the side. So let's go ahead and draw that on the part of the drawing that is labeled side. So I'm going to start in the same place, the lower right hand corner, and I'm going to go up two. Okay, and I'm going to go over to the left two. And I'm going to come down one. And I'm going to go to the left one. Now I'm all the way over at the left hand edge. I'm going to come back down again to the bottom. And then I'm going to finish this part of the drawing by going from left to right. Okay, so that is this part of the drawing, which I have just done over on the part of the drawing that's labeled side. Okay, what else can I see from the side? Well, I can certainly see this from the side. It's one little square. So let's go ahead and draw that. Okay, that will be pretty easy. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start where it intersects 
with this piece and come straight up. I'm going to go over to the left and come back down again. And I don't have to draw that last line because you see there's already one there. So in this case, I'm going to use the blue dot to show what we've done. Okay. Now there's one other surface that I can see looking at it from the side. And in that case, go back in to the to the red dot for the red ink, I can see this guy from the side. So you can see the ones I can see from the side. It's this one here that I've already done, this one that I've done, and this one. So I'm now going to go ahead and draw that last one, which I'm going to do by starting here on the left, go up one, and go over one. Okay, so that one, I'm going to pick another color so we can spot it. That one, a green one, right there. So now that's what it looks like from the side. Now our final one is looking down from the top. Okay, so let's first of all outline what we can see looking down at the top. I'm going to go ahead and use green to outline that. If I look down at the top, if we start here, I can see this. That's part of what I see from the top. I can see this. That's another part of what I can see from the top. This is a bird's eye view, looking down on it. I can see this from the top. And finally, this last little piece. I can see all three of those green outlined pieces looking down at the top. Okay, so how would we draw those? Same way we've done the others. Let's start up here. And I'm going to start here and I'm going to come two forward. Okay, whoops. That's kind of clumsy. I'm going to go back and I'm going to erase that again. And I'm going to come back and grab my green again. This time I'm going to hold down my shift key. So I'm going to come two forward, one over to the left, two back again, and then go back to the beginning. So that one is going to be the one that I have just finished and I'm going to put a green dot there and a green dot here. Okay, so let's draw the next one. So this one's a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to take it, it's, I'm going to start right here. Okay, so that's all the way at the forward part, looking down on it from the top, it's going to be right here. So I'm going to go across two, across the front of it. Okay, I'm going to go back two. I'm going to go over to the left, one space. I'm going to go back one, and now I'm going to return to the right, and you'll see that we're almost done. We have to come back down here and draw that last little piece. Okay, so I'm going to pick the purple. This is what we did in purple. Look down, that's what we just drew. Okay, my final one is down in the corner right here. So I'm going to do go back to green. This is the one we want that's right down here. Okay. So it's going to start across the front. And it's going to go towards the back. There we go. And that's that last piece. I'm going to pick another color. Pick a yellow here. That's this one. And we've just done that one. So there are the three drawings that will show you 
that three-dimensional object. Okay, so it's now your turn. Uh, go open the PDF called Problem 4 and go th take the same steps with that PDF in Problem 4 that you watch me do here in Problem 3. And uh, you can use different colored inks. I think it's a little bit easier in the beginning uh, to do your drawing in different colored inks. Just remember that as you get better and better at this, you'll start doing all of your drawings in a single color, which will probably be black ink. Okay? Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, have fun with uh, problem number four. I'll do another video for problem number five. And for problem number five, uh, I'm going to ask you to kind of follow along with me, and then you'll have a, pro a final problem number six. Okay? So, looking forward to uh, working with you again. Uh, have fun with problem number four. Bye-bye.